team that is still got some younger players growing. He brought in several transfers. The man at the top of the order is Eli Serrano. He is a very focused right-hander who does not mess around. Serrano tried to check the swing, and it looked like he did. Runner goes. The throw to second. Well, it was ball four anyway. Or even away from Lee. He's getting a third. Wave and a miss, and there's Louder's first punch out. So two away. So a pair of runners on. Nixon bounces it to first. Corona snares it. Fewest in the ACC. Misses outside. Once you get one, it seems like the floodgates kind of open. Runner on the move. That one bounces past Kozart. Wisely. Wilkins swings and misses. We have a lot of options here. 2-0. That one is reached at and poked into shallow left. Bounces down. Costello gets the wave. The throw is cut off, and Wake Forest has a one-nothing lead in the first. It wasn't pretty, but you could see as soon as that ball touches the bat, Lucas Costello off to the races. So even though it hits about 30 feet behind shortstop. 2-1, that one's whacked in the air to right. That's Candelaria for the final out. Should have taken more, though. It's the 1-0 to Trice. That one's ripped. That's through the hole, a base hit. And so the old Dominion transfer is aboard with two gone. It's the top today, so trying to figure it out. Runners on the move, throw down to second, wide and into center field. So Trice is all the way to third now. The tying run is 90 feet away. Louder delivers the 3-2. That one's punched to the left side. Deep in the hole, it plates a run. The infield single for Harrison as this thing knotted up at one apiece. First it was Trice on the hanging breaking ball. This one a really tough fastball in on the hands of Harrison. Pulls the hands in. He's only allowed now nine earned runs this season. Four of them came against Duke last month. Hawk took a step back, now works his way in, and the inning is over. Losing McGraw just a couple of days before the season. Whitaker gets Reinish looking for his second strikeout. But the 10-2 ACC start has been impressive. Corona lifts this one down the line, one hops the fence. Candelaria plays it back in. It's a one-out double for Corona. He just refused to go down quietly. And he works the walk. Nicely done. Hawk bounces that. Third base side. Tough one for Groover. Got him at first. Now a two-year starter, Groover is. Remember, he started at Charlotte, had that fine freshman year. The catcher, Lee, dives on it. And I think he knocked it back into play. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that one's the most impressive and improbable of his reached base. A single. Wilkin, difficult play. And yeah, Corona held the bag. Two gone. One, two in the dirt. So nice job by Lee. Runner way off a of second base. And Bennett picks him off. Complete. Circumstance switch. Yeah. Nixon was indeed hit by the pitch, which will put runners at first and second with two down. Wake Forest behind him today in this game, and then Hartle perhaps in the second game. Well, Louder takes care of Green. 3-2, wave and a miss. Costello goes down on strikes. That's the third punch out for Whitaker. Sort of get it rolling once they get some of the weaker teams in the conference. Wow, Whitaker blows that one by Wilkin. A couple of swings and misses in that at bat. And yeah, now pitching deeper into ball games too. Breaking pitch gets Bennett. Whitaker strikes out the side. Even if they strike out. That one's hit on the screws, and Parker Nolan has a base hit to start the fourth inning. 
There goes the runner from first. Lee's throw to second. Bounces, and it skips into center. And there you go, Roddy So Nolan. Had a chance to at least keep that on the infield. Now the infield comes in. This one is bounced. Runner holds at third. Johnson collects, and he throws Trice out. Louder ready with a payoff pitch. It's on the way. Coming home. That's low. Ball four. Seventh pitch of the at-bat. Check swing. That time Serrano goes down looking. One, two. Reached at and missed. Louder strikes out a pair to retire the side. Start that at bat. Goes right back to it, and Johnson sends it into center field, a base hit. Legs and, and back knee stability just hasn't quite been there for him. They're pinching in at the corners. Corona bunts it left side. That moves the runners over. And the throw from Groover is in time. Be there he's, for your guy. Somebody catch him <laughs> as he's going down. Gatorade bucket having to do all the work. That one's booted by Green. Wake Forest gets a run. Johnson comes home to score. So Lee gets the RBI out of this sequence. This one's lifted. Out to right. Chases Candelaria back. Makes the catch at the wall. And Houston's going to get the sure fire. RBI here. Wake increases its lead. It's now 3-1. to one. 81st pitch of the afternoon for Whitaker. That's chopped slowly to third. Groover's got no play. Breaking pitch this time. Waved at and missed. Throw down to first completes the strikeout. Grew up about an hour south of Winston-Salem. Groover sits on that. Lines it into the gap in left center. Bounces up against the wall. A quick throw back into the diamond, but Groover is safe with a leadoff double, and he's reached all three times today. It's bestowed upon the right-hander. 2-2. Two -two. That one's lifted. Out to left. Costello fighting the sun, and he bails out. Couldn't see it. Groover, though, advances only to third. Of course, he had to wait on that one. Costello had it lined up. So that's a double, and first pitch swinging. Nixon drills it. It's gone. NC State retakes the lead with one swing. It's the first home run Rhett Lauder has allowed this season. For an NC State team that did not have an extra base hit coming into this inning, double, double, and a dinger, and NC State takes the lead. It's a World Series as well. Ball that's sinking down in the zone, and Nixon. NC State has uh, did a fine job of putting some pressure on him. Keener blows that one by Nolan. There's two out, if anything. Really okay. Payoff. Wave and a miss, and there you go. So a pair of strikeouts for Keener. Scott Rowland brings back a lot of bad memories. <laughs> two two. Wave and a miss. But not having Kurtz is a that's a significant absence now. That one's lifted. Deep left. Johnson got a hold of it towards the wall and Trice with just enough room. Three that he faced in the fifth. Keener last pitch a week ago at Clemson. Three scoreless innings. Gets Houston to bounce this one over to first. Corona starting the double play. Yeah, three, six, one, double play. Nicely done with nobody on. Swings and pops this one up. Left side of the diamond, Houston shielding the sun, and he's there. In the ACC tournament, the way things yep. are going. Lee pops this one up. Cozart makes another grab behind the plate. He started NC State on that three batter stretch. Oh, he gets a hold of this one, falling into shallow center. Hawk slides in and makes the catch of Nixon's last 11 games he's appeared in. Oh, couldn't hold up that time. Keener knew it. Yeah, and we saw the expression on Louder's face in the bullpen after he was relieved. Houston knocks this one into left for a base hit. I feel ready to go. Inside corner, great spot. It's a called third strike. 
It has not been their best days. Costello squares to bunt. Third base side. Groover, no play. Tying run moves up to second. Here in the seventh. Here it comes. That's low and away. And Highfield just walked the bases loaded. The breaking ball on the first pitch. Down 2-0. That one's outside. Ball four. And the walk pushes the tying run across the plate. Houston scores. It's four up. He's making sure that he uh, wasn't showing up the umpire. This one gets behind. Here comes the runner. The tag is there. Cozart snags the baseball. Oh, he's safe. Wow. Yes. So Costello is safe. Lawson fires. Johnson tags it into the gap in left center. You have the runner ready to tag. Trice makes the catch. The throw is cut off at second. Wake Forest leads 5-3. to three. Got a hitter in Rhinus. You got a 1-1 count on a struggling lefty. Swings, bounces it to the right side. Harrison scoops it up, and the inning is over. And he has worked efficiently on the slope. Into center. Hawk does it again. The sprawling catch. He's off the hook for the loss now. 1-2. Swing and a miss. Keener can't be stopped right now. First run in the second. Check swing. Over to first. Bounces. Yeah, it bounces down as fair. Well, regardless if you got the tag on the runner or not. Trice out of the base paths a couple of times. But they've only had one man on since. They have not done much against Seth Keener. There's a rip for Bennett Lee, his second hit of the afternoon. Better numbers, actually, than Logan Whitaker, the guy who started. And then for... Oh, wow. wow. They just picked off Lee. With Wake down, you... you I think the initial plan was likely to bring Sullivan in for the first game. Things change, and now you have available. Got to get him a longer sock, though, on the left leg. Harrison, though, lashes a base hit. It's a leadoff single for the Wolfpack. There's a big turn with no one covering first. He's got to get back now. Serrano on the left side. Swings, vaults the fastball. Into center, Hawk coming in. He's got it, one away. Candelaria, the tying run at the plate, waiting. Swings, pops it up. This one stretching out to shallow left. To a fine start today in the doubleheader. Swing, bouncer, left side. That's off of Wilkins' mitt, and so the inning continues. This is Kozar. Manassi delivers. Swing and a pop-up. Into right. This should do it. There's Bennett, and the ball game is over.